Russia is open to hearing President-elect Donald Trump's proposals on ending the war, an official said. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said Moscow and Washington were exchanging signals on Ukraine via closed channels. He did not specify whether the communication was with the current administration or Trump and members of his incoming administration. Russia is ready to listen to Trump's proposals on Ukraine provided these were ideas on how to move forward in the area of settlement, and not in the area of further pumping the Kiev regime with all kinds of aid, Ryabkov said Saturday in an interview with Russian state news agency Interfax. A further 32 Russian drones were shot down over 10 Ukrainian regions, while 18 were lost, according to Ukraine's air force, likely having been electronically jammed. A Russian aerial bomb struck a busy highway overnight in the northeastern Kharkiv province, Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Terekhov said. No casualties were reported. Russia is mounting an intensified aerial campaign, prompting Ukrainian officials to ask for more Western help. However, doubts are deepening over what Kiev can expect from a new U.S. administration. Trump has repeatedly taken issue with U.S. aid to Ukraine, made vague vows to end the war and has praised Russian President Vladimir Putin. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell, however, reassured Ukraine of European support during a visit to Kiev on Saturday. EU support to Ukraine has been my personal priority during my mandate and will remain on top of the EU's agenda, he wrote on X. In Russia, the defense ministry said 50 Ukrainian drones were destroyed over seven Russian regions, more than half over the Bryansk region, bordering Ukraine. Drones belonging to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry's Security Service and Special Operations Forces launched an attack on Russia's Tula region on the night leading to November 9. The Ukrainian media reported this with reference to a source within the Ukrainian Security Service. The attack targeted the chemical plant in the city of Alexin. The enterprise that is owned by Rostex Corporation produces necessary materials, ammunition and gunpowder for the Russian military-industrial complex. According to the reports circulated by local telegram channels, the attack was launched at around 3 in the morning. Apart from the chemical plant, Ukrainian drones also moved towards the mechanical plant. As a result of drone strikes, an explosion occurred in the territory of the chemical plant. Fire engines have been brought to the area. No casualties have been reported. According to Russian reports, an air defense system was activated and that the drones were shot down. Гандоны жужжат нахуй. Ты прикинь, что за хуйня.
Tschüss.